It has been a long time since I fell in love with a Disney film that I watched for the first time. I pride myself on having seen most of the Disney classic films, but for some reason The Great Mouse Detective was never one of them, and I don't know why that is. So I watched this for the first time, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was incredible. It could be something to do with the fact that I like Sherlock Holmes. It could also be something to do with the fact that I really love Vincent Price. The film was released in 1986 and is directed by Ron Clemens, Bernie Madison and David Michener. And is about a young rodent um, who loses her father. Her father disappears, he's not dead, he goes, he goes missing. And she journeys to Baker Street with the help of Dr Dawson, who is a brilliant character and I absolutely love him. They together go and visit Sherlock Holmes. Uh, who is called Basil here, but you will identify him very quickly as being Sherlock Holmes with his little deer stalker and Basil, the great mouse detective, takes it upon himself to find her father and as he does so, he ends up having to come face to face with his arch enemy, Professor Rattigan and it's a race against time to find the father but also once they, you know, come face to face with Rattigan the tension gets even greater and will Basil be able to solve the mystery and save the day or <laughs> will Olivia become an orphan? It's uh, depressing in that respect but it's thoroughly enjoyable. It's a fun mystery and I think for young children who aren't aware of Sherlock it's still very easy to follow. We have you know all the hallmarks of Sherlock Holmes with elementary and other little things that he's um, very well known for. Something I particularly like, this is just a bit of a side note, but his uh, his maid, his housekeeper, looks so much like a mouse version or a rat version of the nanny in 101 Dalmatians. I don't know if that's a fair comparison, but that's really what she reminded me of. The narrative itself is really interesting. I wasn't necessarily emotionally invested in what happened to the father because I feel like first of all it's revealed relatively quickly not in great detail but there's enough information there to kind of kind of be able to realize potentially what happened if not why I didn't know why I didn't know what they were doing I didn't know what the toy maker was being made to work on that bit when it was revealed was an absolute delight <laughs> I really liked that a lot and I liked that character I can't see any more than that, but I like that interpretation of that character at that point. It's brilliant. And the music, the songs throughout it are really great. There wasn't a song in it that I thought fell flat. But the song about Radigan, um, the song itself, I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I would assume it's called something along like um, the brilliant Radigan or something. But it's, it's his song and I loved it. It was so engaging and I kind of vaguely recognised it. So maybe I had it on like a Disney compilation CD at one point. But it is a really thoroughly enjoyable animation. As I said, it's been a very long time since I watched a classic for the first time as an adult and really truly fell in love with it. But that's the case here. Vincent Price voices Ratkin and equally as exciting, Basil Rathbone voices... Um, Sherlock Holmes in uh, sound archives in this. I didn't pick up on that when watching it, so I need to go back and watch it and see exactly what that's referring to. Um, but Basil of Baker Street himself is voiced by Barry Ingham, and it's it's brilliant. It's absolutely fabulous. I can't imagine it would ever be one of my favourite Disney films, but certainly it's one of the favourites that I've watched recently, and I did absolutely love it.